The outbreak of World War II, side by side with the genocidal policies of Nazi Germany and the murderous deportation and population policies of the Soviet Union, which as you know initially occupies parts of Eastern Europe between 1939 and 1941, the ethnic tensions within the new nation states of Eastern Europe explode and add an element of fraternal strife and bloodshed to the event. So if we think about the violence in Eastern Europe, of which the Holocaust is a large part, it is not only uh, the violence perpetrated by the Nazi regime and the Soviet regime on either side as they enter these areas, it is also internal and fraternal and it goes back to inter-ethnic tensions dating back at least to World War I, in many cases of course much further back. So for instance, in eastern Poland or eastern Galicia, Ukrainian militias, police and insurgent army units help the Germans carry out the mass murder of the Jews and simultaneously carry out their, on their own initiative policies of very bloody ethnic cleansing of Poles in Volhynia and Galicia. During the Holocaust, the Jews were a minority that had no nation state and thus no clear unified voice to speak on its behalf, which is somewhat different from most of the other ethnic minorities. Uh, one, one of the major uh, exceptions to that and similarity to the Jews is the case of the Roma uh, or the Gypsies, uh, which also had, of course, no, no, no spokespersons for them, no, no national entity. As a minority everywhere, marked by Christianity in a Christian continent as inferior, by integral nationalists as unwanted, by racist fascists as corrosive parasites, and by communists as representatives of a class that must be wiped out or as a feudal remnant, the Jews had few protectors and many enemies beyond their most immediate Nazi hunters. So when we read accounts of what is happening in Eastern Europe during the Holocaust, when Jews are of course uh, hunted by the Nazis, it is very difficult for them to find any other sympathizers in the areas in which they live for all these reasons. At the end of World War II and the Holocaust, Jews in Eastern Europe again did not enjoy minority rights. They were killed or chased away by those who moved into their homes. They were seen as collaborators with the occupying Soviet forces by local populations. The case of Poland is uh, very well known. And they came to be identified as Zionists or cosmopolitans by the Soviets. Minorities in Eastern Europe, with some exceptions, have become much less of an issue after the ethnic cleansing, deportations, and genocide of so many people. But for Jews in Soviet Ukraine and Russia, the issue of, es of ethnic discrimination or anti-Semitism remained pertinent until the fall of communism and the vast immigration out of the former USSR and its former republics.